Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about Boruto episode 65, and I know this episode came out a week ago, but I had a copyright strike that I was just about to get rid of, so I decided to wait until the strike was gone. And now that it is, I get to finally talk about this fantastic episode of Boruto. If you're curious as to what I think about the episode, I think it's one of the best episodes in all of Naruto. It's beautiful, it's fantastically animated, and I have nothing but praise for it. But this is not a review. No, what we're going to do here today is I'm going to go through all of the callbacks in the episode. The first callback involves the scene where Sasuke kicks his sword at Momoshiki. This is a callback to Naruto Manga Chapter 46, in which Sasuke does the exact same thing to Orobo. The only noticeable difference between the two scenes being the fact that in Manga Chapter 46, Sasuke kicks the kunai, and in Episode 65, Sasuke kicks the sword. The next callback takes place while they're on top of the tree battling Momoshiki. Sasuke takes out a scroll and summons a demon wind shuriken, which he proceeds to throw at Momoshiki using the shadow shuriken jutsu to create clones of the demon wind shuriken. This is a reference to the technique thing used on Zabuza back in Naruto Manga Chapter 14. But we're not done yet. After Momoshiki deflects all the shuriken, a demon wind shuriken shoots out of the ground and hits Momoshiki in the jaw. This is a reference to Naruto Manga Chapter 104 in the scene where Naruto defeats Neji by coming out of a hole in the ground and uppercutting him in the jaw. They follow this up by once again calling back to the technique Naruto and Sasuke use on Zabuza that I mentioned earlier by having the shuriken that hits Momoshiki transform into Naruto holding a Rasen Shuriken, which he throws at Momoshiki only for it to transform into Sasuke. This is a continuation of the previously mentioned technique used on Zabuza, just taken to a much more extreme degree. The next callback will be Sasuke trying to use Planetary Devastation or Shibaku Tensei to steal Momoshiki in a similar manner that Pain tried to steal Naruto way back in Naruto Manga Chapter 439. The next reference involved Momoshiki using a technique that you'll have to forgive me for mispronouncing, called Inokai Takuro no Mikato. It allowed him to create chakra-like avatars out of the earth or land itself, in which he creates a chakra avatar that looks identical to the form the Kyuubi took when trying to escape Pain's planetary devastation way back in Manga Chapter 439. The next callback, while not from any one manga chapter, is the return of Susano Majestic Attire, the technique where Naruto and Sasuke combine Naruto's chakra avatar of the Nine Tail with Sasuke's Susano. Another reference that isn't specific to any one manga chapter that is worth noting is that Naruto and Sasuke seem to be augmenting their strengths with Chakra in the same manner that Sakura does due to the immense damage they are causing with mere punches. Though, it is quite possible that they are doing something else entirely, or they are just that physically strong that their punches can, if they want them to, be equal to Sakura's without Chakra augmentation. Another interesting callback is that Momoshiki uses his Byakugan to attack Naruto's Tenkestu, or his Chakra Point, something we have not seen used this effectively against Naruto in years. The rest of the episode is just original awesome content, however there are some callbacks in the scene when Naruto and Boruto form the giant rock. We see together. images of a younger Naruto and people that are important to him helping Boruto form the Rasengan. The first person we see is his original mentor Jiraiya. The second person we see is his mother Kuchina Uzumaki who helped him gain control of the Nine Tailed Fox originally. The next person we see is Neji Hyuga who died to protect him and Hinata during the 4th Great Ninja War. We then see Minato Namikaze, his father, the 4th Hokage, who helped him suppress the Nine Tails during his battle with Pain, 
and fought alongside him during the Fourth Great Ninja War. We then see his best friend, Sasuke, right after the events of their final battle, where they finally reconciled. We then see Naruto and Hinata in their The Last outfit. The Last is, of course, the movie where Naruto and Hinata became romantically involved. Well, some may say it would have been more appropriate to close off this scene with Naruto and Sasuke helping Boruto form the Rasengan gun. I do think, thematically, Having Hinata be the one to end it off makes a lot of sense given that she is Boruto's mother and Naruto's wife. Somebody of massive importance to both characters, of course. We then see a shot of part one Naruto and a ton of characters from the series that are close to Naruto. However, they are all in their part one outfit. And an interesting little note is that in between Hinata and Sasuke, you can see a part one version of Sai. Boruto also comments that Naruto's chakra is heavy and has a strong weight to it. This is a reference to something that was said multiple times during the manga, being that Naruto has incredibly powerful chakra. And I believe that's about it. If I did miss something, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. And I just want to say once again that this is a fantastic episode. Well, I have been a supporter of Boruto since day one, and I do think the show is pretty good, and I think it's only going to get better from here based on events of the future manga arc. I will say that this is undoubtedly the best episode in the series. Probably one of the best episodes in the whole franchise, if not the best episode in the whole franchise. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. For more anime videos like this, subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan of Evangelion, I've got some Evangelion videos coming in the future. If you would like updates on the channel, future videos, and would like to have a chance to interact with me, follow me on Twitter, which is linked in the description box down below. And of all else, guys, have a great day. This is Nerd King 101 signing out.